Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be looking at some mighty machines and covering what they do. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more like it. First up, we have the Liebherr R996B. It is one of the largest crawler excavators in the world, weighing up to 672 tons. The heart of this machine is two 16-cylinder engines that produce a net power of 3,003 horsepower. The excavator boasts a 36 cubic meter bucket and offers a max digging depth of 9.5 meters. It can fill a large mining truck in just four passes. Since 1997, a total of 19 units have been commissioned for an open pit mine in Sangata, Indonesia. The site is in a tropical rainforest with average yearly temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit and year-round humidity levels of up to 80 percent. The R996B's water separator protects the high-pressure common rail fuel system, preventing injector wear and other engine component failures. It also has final drives with a double lifetime seal to prevent mud entry which might cause damage or lower transmission system performance. Next, we have the Hitachi EX3600. This mining excavator weighs around 359 tons, and its bucket capacity is 22 cubic meters. It stands 26 feet tall, up to 40 feet long, and 30 feet wide. The excavator is equipped with a 1450 kilowatt engine. Its unique hydraulic system enables it to dig and load large amounts of material efficiently. The durable structure of the machine and its comfortable cab provide reliability and safety for the operator. Thanks to the improved cooling system, it prevents overheating and extends component life. Its enhanced hydraulic circuit optimizes pump control and flow distribution. An optional electric version eliminates fuel consumption entirely and reduces maintenance costs. Uh, next, we have the Dramus D150T. This off-road mining truck can carry 150 metric tons of ore over tough terrain. Its powerful engine offers 605 horsepower with a net torque of 2,050 pound-feet. The truck can tow two filled 40 cubic meter dump bodies. Thanks to the twin steer front suspension and the hydraulic rear suspension, both provide incredible stability. Even when fully loaded, the Dramas D150T can overcome 8% slope and run at 50 kilometers an hour. Currently, this beast is operating in a mine located in Canada's Great North, where temperatures can drop below 45 degrees Celsius. Next, we have the Liebherr 37 Z4 XXT. It is a truck-mounted concrete pump capable of delivering concrete to inaccessible areas. Its four-part Z-fold distribution boom can stretch vertically up to 36.8 meters and horizontally up to 32.6. Moreover, the advanced outrigger system of this machine offers stability and adaptability in various operating conditions. The pump unit can transport up to 160 cubic meters per hour of concrete at a max pressure of 85 bar. It is also equipped with a hydraulic oil cooler that lowers the oil's temperature and prolongs the service life of the components. A variety of optional accessories and equipment are available, such as an additional storage compartment, an optional fuel tank, and a magnetic rotating beacon. Up next, we have the PH 2800 Mark II. This electric mining shovel can excavate 59 metric tons of rock in a single pass. 
Its static converter controls the DC motors and ensures smooth operation. The excavator features a single set of crawlers that can travel at 1.8 kilometers an hour. The heavy-duty boom of this excavator can stretch up to 21.3 meters and can withstand heavy impact loads. Its modular construction facilitates installation, disassembly, and transportation. The wide cab with ergonomic controls and a great view of the excavation area gives the operator comfort and convenience. It features a high-performance dipper capable of optimizing payload and minimizing wear. Next, we have the CAT 657E. It is a scraper that can move large amounts of earth or coal quickly and efficiently. It has two parts, a tractor and a scraper bowl. The tractor has a powerful CAT 3408E engine that delivers 550 horsepower. The scraper bowl has a headed capacity of 73 cubic yards and can load and dump on the run. The CAT 657E also has a hydraulic bale and plate at the front and a hook at the rear that allows it to work with another scraper in a push-pull configuration. This increases productivity and reduces the fuel consumption of the machine. It also features an Advanced Productivity Electronic Control System, or APECS for short, that improves transmission performance and smoothness. The CAT 657E is designed for coal handling but can also be used for other applications such as road construction, land reclamation, or mining. Up next, we have the GXT2555R. This shear attachment is designed for demolition purposes. It can cut through steel and other waste materials and fit on smaller carriers, such as excavators and loaders, weighing a minimum of 25.6 tons. Its bolt-on piercing tip protects the top jaw from damage and eliminates welding and downtime. Moreover, its low center of gravity enhances its stability and mobility. It has a 54-inch aperture and a wrench opening depth of 56 inches. It needs 244 to 317 GPM of oil flow to function. It can be used to cut beams, pipelines, wires, concrete, and cars, among other things. Moreover, it can be put on bigger carriers for more difficult operations. Last but not least, we have the Hitachi ZX350 LC5. This versatile excavator is designed for the most demanding work environments. Its 23-meter-long telescoping arm enables precision excavation operations from structures as tall as a seven-story building. A tilting cylinder guard ensures optimal availability and performance by shielding the cylinder from falling items. This excavator satisfies rigorous pollution regulations with its Stage 4 202 kW Isuzu engine and does not need a diesel particulate filter. The spacious cab is ergonomically designed for the operator's comfort and productivity, and the upper structure rails provide additional safety and access. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.